Hi, Michelle Glass here. Welcome back to another episode of our Chapter 10 lecture series. And our topic for this video is how the cell uses that DNA molecule to make proteins. So let's get started. Basically, our DNA molecule is going to consist of all of the information that the cell needs to make proteins. So basically, a full library of instruction is a master copy, and it's housed, remember, for eukaryotic cells in the nucleus. And it's kind of trapped in the nucleus. So um, somehow we need to get the instructions from the nucleus to the ribosome to actually make our protein and that's where the mRNA comes into play. M here stands for messenger and so the messenger RNA is the molecule that will take that information from the big library um, in the nucleus to the ribosome for making those proteins. The process where we convert our gene from our DNA to our mRNA is called transcription. Transcription is happening in the nucleus, and then because that mRNA is small, it's able to fit through the nuclear pore, leave the nucleus, and go out to the ribosome in order to make the protein. The protein, um, making the protein, going from mRNA to protein is called translation. So here we see that there are two major processes required to go from our DNA molecule to our protein. These processes are called transcription and translation. Unfortunately, they sound really similar. One key trick is to use the alphabet and notice that the C in transcription comes before the L in translation. Transcription, remember, is converting DNA to mRNA, so this is occurring in the nucleus, whereas translation is taking the information from the mRNA, turning it into an amino acid sequence, which is our protein, and so that is happening at the ribosome. DNA, remember, is standing for deoxyribose nucleic acid. We've already reviewed the structure. It's a double helix. It's super big. It's the entire genome. Um, and so it's not leaving the nucleus. It has the bases adenine and thymine, which pair together, and cytosine and guanine, which pair together. RNA is a smaller molecule. It's single-stranded, and it's just gonna be a copy of the instructions to make that one protein. So it's just the information of the one gene, not the entire genome. So we're not trying to copy the entire library, not even an entire book, maybe like one little page. So it's significantly smaller. The other thing to remember is that RNA has four bases, adenine, uracil, cytosine, and guanine. So we'll see that difference there. The key thing to pay attention to is that there is no thymine in RNA, and so instead of pairing a T with an A, you're going to pair um, a U with an A. So make sure you're keeping up with that particular difference. There are three different types of RNA molecules. We use the first letter um, lowercase and then capital for RNA. So we have mRNA, little case r RNA, and little case t RNA. The messenger RNA is going to be the RNA molecule that will copy the DNA instructions and deliver it to the ribosome. The r RNA is the RNA molecule that actually forms the ribosome, which is the location of translation. And then the tRNA molecule is the transfer RNA, and this is gonna actually bring the amino acids to the ribosome and help fit them into the correct places. So obviously all three types of RNA molecules are involved in protein production. Um, the processes collectively transcription and translation. So stay tuned for more.